Oyster farming in Alabama is not just a growing industry, it's a testament to resilience and innovation, not to mention a $3 million economic impact. Come along and discover how Alabama Extension plays a vital role in helping farmers thrive. Missy Partika has been with Alabama Extension since 2018, and in that time, she's seen big changes in the industry. While the number of farmers has been cut in half, the total volume of oysters produced has nearly tripled to more than 5 million farmed oysters in 2023 alone. Still, challenges abound. It's hard work. It's a big business. It's hard to break in. It's laborious out here. It's backbreaking. It's hot. And uh, maintaining that schedule and having your staff out here enduring storms and bad weather and ups and downs of markets and mortality events um, is challenging. Farmers like Lane Zerlot of Murder Point Oysters lean on Alabama Extension for candid, research-based information to make their business successful. You can talk to these people, and because they talk to everybody, they can tell you the full picture. They can tell you the farmer's perspective, but they can also tell you the regulator's perspective, and they can tell you the ups and downs, and you know, my perspective of something might be totally different. Extension specialists help farmers with anything from aquatic diseases and reef restoration to regulatory compliance and seafood safety. Well, all of the extension specialists down here are part of the aquatic resources team. So we are a team and it is a team environment. We share resources with one another, we collaborate. And provide farmers with confidence that their oysters are unlike any other. When you create something, and, and that's what Murder Point does, and again, that separates, that separates us from everybody else, from conception to plate, nobody touches this oyster but me and my team. For more information on oyster farming in Alabama, visit the Alabama Extension website at aces.edu.